This video is brought to you by the Parent Training and Information Program at PAVE. As the Parent Center, we serve individuals and families across Washington State to help you better understand the special education services system. Most students and families have more questions than answers about what is the IEP and how do we use it well. Individual Education Program, or the IEP, is an important program for students who need additional services to access learning. This short video is to help you better understand IEP. Every student has a right to a free and appropriate public education. That's FAPE. Under the Federal Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. Students with disabilities or learning differences may need additional teaching, accommodations, or services to build a learning path that is right for them. The process begins with evaluation. If you have concerns about your student's learning or they have a known disability impacting them from birth, request an evaluation from ChildFind at your school district. The request must be made in writing and begins a timeline to determine if they will evaluate and what the individual strengths and support needs are. Not everyone will be evaluated. You have a right to disagree with the school's decision to evaluate or not evaluate. If an evaluation is recommended, a parent must sign and agree to the evaluation areas before the process begins. Not every student will qualify for an IEP, but may qualify for a Section 504 plan that outlines needed accommodations under the Civil Rights Law. Once an evaluation has been completed, You'll meet the evaluating team to look over the results, and you'll begin to outline the major areas of support and talk about the strengths and concerns. Be sure to write down any questions you have and even bring someone with you to help you take notes. Evaluations are done at least every three years. The evaluation results meeting is usually a good time to set dates together for your IEP team meeting. Parent and student participation is very important. Be sure the time of the meeting works for you and you have enough time to discuss strengths and areas of concern. The IEP team is made up of you as the students and parents, teachers from your general education grade level class, and special services teachers or therapists. The district representative should be a decision maker like the principal or district staff who can improve services, equipment, schedules, and make staffing decisions. The IEP is an active program, not a stack of papers. The document that describes the student's special education program is carefully written and must be updated at least once a year by another team meeting. But this team can be called together at any time to review and adjust the program. Good communication is the key to student success. Learning in school isn't just academic subjects. Schools also help students learn social and emotional skills and general life skills. Every student has access to a high school and beyond plan by age 12 or 13. By age 16, an IEP includes a transition plan for life beyond high school. This helps a student to make successful transition into adulthood. Here is a chart that outlines the basic sections of an IEP document with basic definitions. IEP can include these areas. So if you don't understand where something is, ask your IEP team to explain. It's a good idea to request a copy of the draft IEP before the meeting so you can read and prepare any questions ahead of time. Annual goals in your IEP, including academic, social emotional learning, and functional goals should be SMART. That's specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. The IEP should provide a specific way to check on progress. Assessments like state testing scores or academic progress tracking software can be used to set a baseline and measure progress. Special education is a service, not a place. Least Restrictive Environment, LRE, expresses the IDEA's strong preference that students with disabilities be educated with children who are not disabled to the maximum extent appropriate. A chart on the IEP document breaks down the time spent in special versus general education settings. Every student is a general education student. 
An IEP can add services and supports to a student's day to help meet their educational and post-school goals. You should be given a procedural safeguards handout at every IEP meeting. This contains your rights and how to handle disagreements. It is very important to read it and know your rights. If you have questions or concerns, contact us at the Parent Center. We are here to help. This is a very basic overview of the Individual Education Program. You can find informative articles and videos on our website at wapave.org. That's W-A-P-A-V-E dot O-R-G. Or click the Get Help tab to request one-to-one -one assistance from a parent resource coordinator.